There's two potential mechanisms. One is that uh, Agent Orange interferes with the aryl hydrocarbon receptor, um, and that may uh, disrupt uh, the marrow microenvironment. It may have some immunologic effects. The second is the stuff that it was mixed with may have direct cytotoxic effects. I mean, if you're mixing with hydrocarbons like uh, kerosene and you know jet fuel, uh, these things can potentially either have direct toxic effects or uh, allow expansion of a pre-existing clone, which in many young people is not present, but um, particularly the older one gets, the more likely um, clonal expansion is to occur with such a stress. One of the common questions that arises now in uh, individuals who are veterans of the Vietnam conflict, uh, who are now in the peak ages for developing MDS is, did my remote exposure in the 1960s or early 1970s to Agent Orange contribute to the development of my disease? And this is a very complicated and politically fraught issue. If you were 18 in 1968, you're 70 today, the average age of MDS diagnosis is 70, so some individuals will, would just have been diagnosed with MDS anyway, and it's just a coincidence. That being said, we know that exposures can cause a clonal process that even decades later increases the risk for developing MDS. For instance, after the Hiroshima and Nagasaki events in 1945, even 60 years later the exposed population in Japan had a higher incidence of MDS and acute leukemia compared to the unexposed population. So just because an exposure is remote doesn't mean it can be neglected. That being said, um, we tried to find some specific uh, genomic signature in Agent Orange uh, exposed patients weren't able to. Maybe if we we could have gone back in time to 1975 and studied returning veterans. Uh, we might have uh, had a different uh, conclusion. But I still think um, it's as likely as not that uh, individuals who are exposed uh, to Agent Orange, particularly those who are heavily exposed, uh, mixed it with other things like JP4 jet fuel, kerosene, etc., to facilitate spraying, which many veterans have testified that they did. Um, th they're I think they should be eligible for uh, VA benefits. The Agent Orange VA benefit uh, program is, um, it's, a, it's a bit silly. It includes things like diabetes mellitus or coronary artery disease, which have major lifestyle components. It doesn't include things like MDS, which you know, quite plausibly are directly from the Agent Orange exposure. So it's a, it's a complicated business and unresolved.